Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. In this video here, we're really not going to do anything except just drive to Kentucky and back. We do have a short time where we have a drone video of the fireworks uh, that people were setting off on Sunday. And we also have uh, a wreck that took place in on the way home. We held off on putting this up because of the sensitive nature of this accident on I-75. So come along, join with us, listen to the music, and watch. It's a great video. We have to pull into a rest park here because our uh, we've got to check the load, make sure everything's working right. Not to mention take a bathroom break. While we're here, we realize that the one brake is acting up and actually smells a little hot. There's not a lot we could do to it yet, but uh, we notice this is where we first notice we're having issues.
Right now, we are just north of Dayton, Ohio, in a small town called Vandalia. Actually, it's much larger than any of our towns here. We are in Dayton now as we are starting to get into our stop and go traffic with some of these exits.
this is the end of our, the trip heading down as uh, it looks like we must have ran out of battery so now we'll go into the drone videos that are on July 4th on Sunday this here is Corbin Kentucky and the Sun just went down so we are recording uh, a little bit here and you can see the exit right here at I-75 or I guess this is the interchange and if you look over the horizon you're gonna see some fireworks going off that people are setting off most of the fireworks were set off on Saturday night Here you will see some of the stuff that we missed on the way down because the battery ran out. We are heading back to Ohio and we are just leaving. Right here you will see actually the exit. Uh, this was the North Corbin exit right here. And so we started off at the South Corbin exit because that's actually closer to our land. But our hotel was actually at the North Corbin exit. So as we head north you will see uh, a lot of stuff that we missed from before so you'll enjoy this too I don't know if you notice it but we are actually in the slow lane. Pulling the tractor does slow us down a little bit. It does seem that people drive excessively fast on the highways now. I suppose that since they raised the speed limit to 70 on most of them, that people push that to about 85, even in construction zones like here. Pulling the tractor, I think we were going about 60 going up hills, 70, 65 to 75 uh, during the flat and going down. It wasn't bad at all.
Here we are at the northbound London exit.
Going around these mountains is just beautiful. We are now approaching Lexington, Kentucky right here. We took a little bit of a break right here, and now we are recording. We are up to Florence, Kentucky, which is near where the Ark Encounter is located. And it's just still a beautiful day, though it is hot out. It's in the mid-90s, and the further north we go towards Cincinnati, the hotter it's getting. We are at Fort Mitchell, Kentucky right here, and that is a suburb of Cincinnati, I would say. We are quite a bit higher in elevation than the Cincinnati side. You won't notice it on the video here because the video does not show elevation very well, but uh, we are starting to go downhill towards the Ohio River. And as we get closer to that, we're going to run into more and more traffic stops. It takes about a good hour and a half or so to get through the Cincinnati area now, with the ridge bridge being cut down to half the amount of traffic that it can carry. We are getting really close to the bridge now. You can tell because of all the traffic that keeps uh, injecting itself in from the on-ramps and it definitely takes a while at this point. My understanding is, is that there was a big fire on the bridge a while back, maybe a year and a half or two years ago, I'm not quite sure. So the whole bridge is shut down and we've been watching them do different things here and that includes just wrapping the whole bridge with this canvas while they work on repairs and uh, repaint the whole bridge. It is quite the undertaking. Now we are on the Ohio side of the river. Right here is Cincinnati, and you can see the traffic has drastically changed. Okay, we're over here just north of Cincinnati refueling and so far other than the 95 degree temperature we are still doing okay everything's hanging on everything's strapped down brakes are feeling a lot better than they did when we went down we adjusted it a little bit more oh look there's angel
The Ohio side of the traveling definitely is the longest. It's also quite bland, but it's not bad. We're at Needmore Road. That's funny. We come up on this accident that has the highway shut down from on the southbound lane for quite a while. They were redirecting the traffic. And as you can see, there is quite a bit going on. We are out of the way right here, but you can see how close this truck came, almost came on to the northbound lane, the one that was on top of the Suburban right there. Oh my goodness. 
So often you've got people who are weaving in and out, going at high rates of speed, that causes other accidents to happen and just a big chain reaction. It's really too bad, so when you're driving on the highway, make sure you stay safe and don't do anything stupid. Well, we made it back. We just pulled into our house and pulled in at our house. And as you can see, right over here, we got the tractor and it definitely needs clean. So we're gonna do a good cleaning on it right here. It's pretty warm out. The trip ended up, uh, we lost uh, about one and a half miles per gallon on the way back versus the way down. Anybody can explain how we're going through the same elevations and that happens, I would like to know because I know people say, well, it's because you're traveling north. I, I don't think that's a valid excuse. Anyhow, uh, the tractor did a great job. We had a great trip and I hope that you enjoyed this. We're gonna have several episodes coming up here and I think you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. So be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.